quarterfinals at 60 kilos, uh, men's freestyle at the Junior World Championships. In the blue, the U.S., Joe McKenna. Uh, his opponent in the red, Bregazzi from Georgia. McKenna, Joe McKenna opened this tournament so far 2-0. Um, so there's Bregazzi in on a shot. Um, looks like McKenna might score there. Uh, white paddle, all right. McKenna with a little bit of a chest lock. And it's whistled dead. So 25 seconds elapsed. McKenna in on a double. He has Bergadze on his hip. Let's see if McKenna can score. He's got that foot hook. There's two. So McKenna up two to nothing. Um, in his first two matches, Joe McKenna's been incredibly efficient. Um, very few scoring attempts, but nearly every scoring attempt he has scored. Um, in his first match, he scored six points on a gut wrench. So if Georgia has him scouted, they probably know on top um, to, that, that McKenna does have some, uh, some offense. from Georgia with a two-on-one. McKenna's got good head position, though. Um, that would have been tough for Bergadze to get any offense from there. He shoots. McKenna down blocks. Um, hanging out. Doesn't lo look really offensive from there. McKenna's going to have to get his left elbow cleared up. Or left elbow cleared there. It's whistled dead. seconds left in the first period. Joe McKenna, um, attention, telling him to get the action going. McKenna in on a double leg again. Brigadze fights over the head, kind of drapes over McKenna. Looks like he's gonna get his two, there it is. So McKenna goes up four nothing with 50 seconds left in the first period. Joe McKenna has looked incredibly solid this tournament thus far. Again, you see in this match, two scoring attempts, two takedowns. circle in as he's a couple inches from the edge, about to give up a point, circles to his right, um, neutralizes the position, they go neutral, uh, there's 15 seconds left in the first period. First period, McKenna still up four to nothing. There's there's four mats here. Um, Joe McKenna is currently on mat D, so he's on the end. Off to our right, if I were to scroll down there, Jabari Moody um, is also resting in the quarterfinals. Jabari's at 50 kilograms. Joe McKenna here is at 60. Mo Moody is in a battle, 6-6. Six, six about a minute and 20 seconds into the match. So as we look in at the corner, um, McKenna's gonna be going back to the middle. On the left, Mike DeRoe, right there. Jeff Buxton, his former coach at Blair Academy. Action's underway in the second period. Big excitement down on Matt B for Jabari Moody with a pin, advances to the semifinals. So let's see if Joe McKenna can can get the same result here. He's up four nothing. Two and a half minutes left in the second period against Bergadze from Georgia. 
Uh, again, uh, to reiterate, McKenna, he's been incredibly efficient. Um, every scoring attempt in this match, he's two for two in his opening two matches. Uh, I think every scoring attempt has been successful, so he's done a really good job of picking his shots. Um, almost scored on a go behind there off of Bergadze's shot. This is going to be tough for Bergadze to get in on a shot. His stance is, you know, four or five inches higher than McKenna, so he's going to have to beat McKenna's head, and so far that's proven to be quite the challenge. So I think McKenna is looking for a reshot here. He stops the shot. Let's see if he can get back to a shot. He's got an underhook. They're up on their feet. A minute and 35 seconds left. Too surprised if the ref asks for attention with McKenna. Not much action taking place here. Um, Joe hasn't been incredibly offensive. Now he's in on a single leg. He's coming up. There's going to be two points. They give two to Georgia. Um, Georgia wants to. They gave two to Joe McKenna. I apologize for that. McKenna looks like he's going to score again here if he can just go back just a little bit. And Bergadze ties up his feet and McKenna's unable to. So we've got 47 seconds left. Joe McKenna right now is up 6-0. But if I scroll here, you can see Georgia's looking to challenge this. And the ref is telling him, mm. ask the wrestler, do you want a challenge? Yes, he does. So again, as it stands right now, 6-0 Joe McKenna. 47 seconds challenge, so we're gonna watch this on the, the jury. He's gonna watch this. Um, they'll be directing their attention over there to the big screen to watch the replay. Um, and while I was scrolling over to look at the big screens, Georgia was told that they could not challenge, so the referee walks the challenge. Actually, the angry bird is what they have here. We refer to it as the challenge brick. Um, ooh, there's McKenna again. In on a shot, so efficient. He's gonna score two here. There's two. Let's see how, yep, it's confirmed. Eight nothing, Joe McKenna continues to roll in this tournament. 25 seconds left in the period. I mean, the match, I should say. Joe McKenna's up 8 nothing. And on another shot, if he finishes, it's a tech fall. There it is, 10 nothing. Joe McKenna methodically advances to the semifinals of the Junior Worlds.